Hello everyone, welcome back to the Travel Tips. In this video, we're going to talk about how to fix. Returnal is having crashing issue or it is crashing at startup. It is not launching. It is having issues like freezing and stuttering. Then it is having an issue regarding stuck on loading screen, black screen, low FPS drop and all these kind of issues regarding the Returnal. So this game has uh, very recently released and I did pre-order the game. Right now it is available for everyone. So you can uh, purchase the game. So uh, we're going to move to the workaround. So let's move to the workaround. So the first one is all about we have to restart the PC and that is what you have to do. For restarting the PC, you just have to go over here in the start. You have to go to this icon, go for restart. So restart is going to work well because, you know, it's just a uh, like a starter, you know, it can fix sometimes the issue. So you can try out this and uh, sometimes restart can fix a lot of issues. So that's why I'm recommending you as a basic step. You can try with a restart. Moving to the next one is all about you have to verify integrity of game file. That is what you have to do. For verify integrity of game file, you just have to go over here in the game on the library, which is on the left side. So right click on this, go to properties, now go to local file and there is an option called verify integrity of game file. So just click on this so it's going to take a little bit of time. So uh, the verify integrity of game file is actually going to uh, fix a lot of issues like if any files are corrupted, if any files are missing and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this particular step. So right now as you can see the game is around 58.59 GB which is quite huge but you know that's going to take a little bit of time so here we are in the middle of video so i'm gonna just skip this so just click over here on verify integrity of game file so here it's going to take around you know hardly maybe three to four five minutes it depends on your pcs as well as network so once done with it you'll be getting the play option so just try to play the game after verify integrity of game file so this is going to work as well this is also the second step which i'm recommending you Moving to the next one is all about you have to close overclocking applications. So closing the overclocking applications are like, you know, closing this code, which is draining out a lot of performance and uh, like, you know, reward tuner as well as if any uh, antivirus is just running in the background. So right now, if you go over here in the start, just click over here. Now, if you go to the task manager, as you can see, there are many things which is running in the background. So here I'm using Chrome as well as screen decoders, team and task manager, which is originally open. But apart from this, there are 988 apps which is running in the background. If you keep on scrolling down, you can see all these things. That is Discord and uh, LG Hub and many more. So you have to uh, end the task for a few things. For example, like Discord. Select the Discord, go for end the task, which just drain out a lot of performance. Simultaneously, you have to go and search for Reva Tuner and all those things which will be there in the background for you for sure. So they drain our performance a lot. That is why we are having crashing issue. So we have to utilize the CPU or GPU for the respective one, not for everything. So there will be kind of uh, issue with that. So just ending the task or closing or overclocking applications did work for many users. So you can try this out. It should not be ending the task everything, but just uh, do the overclocking applications like uh, Discord, uh, any antiviruses, you know, Reva Tuner, etc., which is on the uh, which is running in the background. Moving to the next one is all about you have to try with syncing the time, time zone, region and language. I don't know how this is related, but this did work. For that is, you just have to go over here in the search, search for settings. Now from here, go to time and language. Now from here, there are two options, date and time, language and region. First click on date and time. So over here, you have to set automatically. You have to turn this on if it is turned off. Simultaneously, if the set time zone automatically, you have to turn this on if it is turned it off. Quite common, you just have to go back and select language and region. Now from here, you have to select the respective language, which is yours. So in my case, I'm from India. So I have to select the respective one. That is my country is India. And if you're on the respective one, that is I took the English, which is a local one. I mean, the standard one that is United States, which I am admire a lot, even the country and the people. So you have to try the same. So once you set these two things, just go back to the game and try to play the game. That's going to work as well. Moving to the next one is all about you have to run the game on dedicated graphics card. This did work for many of the users and uh, I'm going to give you a promise that this is going to do a magic on yours. So for that, just go over here in the search. Now from here, you have to search for or type 
graphics settings just type graphics settings now from here you have to scroll down now from here you just have to go up and click on browse now from here you have to go to this pc over here you have to select lock disk where the game is in start so in my case i don't have alternative local disk so all the games which i'm downloading from the steam which will be directly stored in local disk c so i have to click on the local disk now from here i have to scroll down and navigate to program file x86 scroll down and navigate to over here on uh, i have to keep on scrolling to steam i have to sc scroll down to steam apps click on common now from here i have to scroll down and select returnal now from here you have to select the application so uh, it will be over here either in the engine so i have to stay in this way or i have to go to binaries not so here i have to go to the it's not there so i have to let me go back over here i have to select the so it's not there so this is what you have to select the 451 so just select this one and as you can see it is added so i have to go over here but keep in mind when you do this you have to make few more changes that click on the options now change this to let windows decide you have to change this to high performance and go for save if you fail to save this to high performance you will be having an issue regarding crashing so set this to high performance and once it's done just go for save after that just close everything go back to the game try to play it and it's gonna work as well moving to the next one is all about you have to run the game as an administrator and you have to launch the game from installation folder so both of the things i'm gonna show you once because uh, that is how it is will be very easily and understandable first thing we have to navigate to where the game is installed so easiest way we have two methods one you can navigate from steam another one is you can go to file explorer so i'll uh, show you the first one that go to the game returnal right click go to properties go to local file click on browse so this will be very redirectedly taken to this pc local to c program file x86 steam steam apps common returnal so this is where the game is installed now from here the first step is all about you have to run the game as an administrator for that you have to select the respective one right click go to show more options go to properties go to compatibility over here you have to check that is run this program as an administrator it's not checked you have to run tick this and go for apply and go for okay so this is what as the first step next one installing or launching the game from steam sometimes that can a lot of bring a lot of issues so sometimes we have to run the game from installation folder so here we are in the installation folder as you can see the path so that is very easily navigating by going through right clicking logo into local file click on browse that will take you to this so from here you have to launch the game instead of launching the game from steam try to launch the game from returnal from here in the installation folder this did work for many of the users especially i have seen it in the reddit this did, did a lot of magic for some of the users so you can try the same moving to the next one is all about you have to update your graphic drivers as well as you have to update your graphics card for that you just have to go over here in the link so i'll be providing a link in the description to both, both nvidia for both the amd so if you're on the nvidia you have to go to this link now from here click on drivers over here at the top now from here as you can see there are many options like product type product series product operating system download type language etc so here you have to select all the details so in my case i did selected all those things now i have to go for search now as you can see here the version is 528.49 that is the quite latest version and the release date is 8th february 2023 which has been quite days back i think hardly a week back and we are having both the supported for windows 10 and windows 11 so it is an english language and it is around 804.59 mb so you have to download this after downloading this try to install this and after that restart and try to play the game and that is going to work as a magic if you're on the amd you have to select the respective one you have to select the graphics you have to select everything once you're done with it, just go for submit. After you're done with the submit, you have to go to select the respective one. If you're on Windows 10, select the respective one. If you're on Windows 11, select the respective one. Now from here, you have to download the adrenaline version. You have to once or to successfully download it. You have to install it as well. Then try to restart your PC as well as and try to play the game. And that is going to work as well. Moving to the next one is all about you have to install Microsoft Visual C++. And this is actually going to work like for many of the users, this did work. So that also I'll be providing link in the description where you can go to Microsoft Visual C++. So uh, you just have to or, or either you can search over here in the Microsoft Visual C++ like, like on the Google. 
now open this and go to over here now from here you just have to download the respective one that is 86 we have two options and 64 so first thing we need to know what is actually your pc is running for that reason go to the settings over here go to settings now from here go to system at the top left now scroll down and navigate to about option over here it is quite visible that mine system is 64 bit operating system which means x64 based processor so you have to navigate the same way will be you will be able to understand which one is running actually yours and once after that just go back to the link from here you have to download this one here i have already downloaded and installed this so there is no point in it but you just have to download and install this once you're done with this just try to play the game and that is going to work the magic as well going to the next one is all about you have to update your windows for reason it is quite important the game like returnal which is quite heavy you should be up to date in the windows or else you'll be having a lot of trouble because the game has to support the OS. For that reason, we just have to go over here in the search, go to settings over here, go to Windows Update, and check whether you are able to get any kind of update, just download and install it. After updating the Windows, that's going to work as well. So moving to the next one is all about, you have to increase the virtual memory. So that is an important step, which has worked for many of the users like a magic. So I'm gonna show you that. The first thing what you have to do is just have to go over here in the search, now from here you have to go over here and search for which uh, over here you have to search view advanced system settings like this now from here you have to click on the advanced go for settings now from here once again go to advanced now from here click on change and over here as you can see under the virtual memory if the file is selected that is automatically managing page size that means you are not able to select the local disk so you have to always uncheck this that is, you have to always uncheck this. And when it comes to local disk C, you have to, then only you'll be able to select the respective local disk where the game is installed. So in my case, I'm having only local disk C. So what I have to do is I just have to uncheck this, then I have to select the respective one. So if in a case, if the local disk is different, that is not C, it might be D or E, then select the D or E where the game is installed. Once after that, I click on this custom size so that we have two values. The first one, it is initial size. Next one, that is maximum size. So over here, just go to the search over here, search for calculator, because we need calculator to do few calculations. So I'll show you that. But before that, we need to know the RAM. For that reason, just go over here in the search, go for settings. Now from here, go to system, scroll down and navigate to about. Now from here, you have to check which is your RAM. So my RAM is around 32 GB. So that might differs from people to people. So some users might be having 16, some might be having eight, some might be having four and two, etc. Res respectively and vice versa. So minus 32. So based on this, I have to do the calculation. So I have to give the initial size. That is the first one to do the value for initial size. I have to do a conversion. That is my RAM is 32 GB. So from GB, I have to convert it into MP for that. I have to multiply it with 1024. So that is 32,768 after doing the calculation. That means from GB, I convert it into MP. Now I have to multiply it with 1.5 because initial size is always 1.5 times the total RAM. That is 49,152. So I have to paste it here. Going to the next one, that is maximum size. That is all about, we have to go over here. 32 GB, I have to multiply it with 1024. That is 32,768. Now I have to multiply it with three. That is all about because maximum size is three times the total RAM. So total RAM is 32,768. So I have to multiply it with three. That is 90,304. So I have to copy it. Now I have to paste it over here. Once I'm done with this, just I have to go for OK. Then after that, try to restart, then try to play the game. That is going to work as well. Next one I would like to add is all about. We have to try for launch options or I mean commands in the launch option. That is for that, we just have to go over here in the returnal, then right click and go to properties. Over here, as you can see, launch option. So here we haven't given any value. So first value is DX11. You have to try with DX11. If that is not working, you have to try with DX12. That is DX12. Give two values and that is going to work as well. Try with DX11 or DX12. If both the thing is not working, just remove everything and keep it like a default. And also parallelly make sure that the enabling the steam overlay should be disabled. So under general category, you can see uh, enable the steam overlay should be disabled. So if it is checked, you have to uncheck it. And this is what you have to do. Last and the least step, which I would like to make a notice in this is you have to uninstall and reinstall the game. 
that is going to work as well, but, but it's quite lengthy. So it's going to take a lot of time, but this did work. So you have to click over here, right click and go to manage, then go for uninstall the game. But if you're trying to reinstall it back, you have to keep in mind, I'm only having lock this C. So even I try to connect it back, <coughs> sorry, you have to install it back on, it will be installed on local disk C by default, so there is no point in it. So if you are having multiple disks, for example, local disk C and D, try to install the game on D, not on C. So that is going to work as well and that did work for many of the users. So this is what you have to do in this video and I hope this video is helpful. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. This is how you can fix the issue regarding how the Returnal is crashing at startup. It is not launching, freezing, stuttering, low FPS drop, stuck on loaded screen and even black screen and how you can fix this up. So uh, let me see you in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.